Hey Gemini, welcome to your April 2018 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Uh, you guys know the drill. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You know when I focus uh, and shuffle and do my readings, I focus on my community first. So I would love to have you part of my crew here. All right, I'm turning the cards over. We're going to jump right in. Stay tuned towards the end for your love romance angel card for an additional message. Death and transformation, overall energy. Interesting. Okay. Um, who is this person? What would they be like? Okay, you received the three of wands. Uh, this is somebody that's really super focused, uh, working very hard on their career. Um, maybe even, you know, looking to expand their career. Maybe they reach a certain level. Uh, maybe they invested a lot in a business. Maybe they're entrepreneurial as well. You can see this person is looking out over the water and you see these ships in the foreground over here and this person is waiting for their ships to come in so they have planted a lot of seeds they've worked very hard to get where they're going to plan ahead for their future and they're waiting to manifest all their opportunities coming in so this is about seeing some results and being excited uh, about their future um, of course this could also be about a relationship manifesting, okay? Um, this is somebody that knows abundance is before them and that they're on the right path. Now, it is a wands card, so it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag person coming into your life, okay? Um, I do feel there's major transformation for both of you. As the overall energy, uh, the death card does depict new beginnings, great change, making space for something new in your life, um, and something is changing or about to transform. So this is wonderful. Both of you are um, moving into new phases of your life, and I believe you're going to come together. You're going to close the door on anything old and move forward. Okay, how will I meet this person? Seven of Pentacles. You know, I definitely feel through work somehow um, that you two will come to meet. This is about working really hard and planting your seeds. So you've done the work, okay, similar to this person. I feel like both of you are in this really great place where you're looking to manifest and switch things up and through this transformation it's going to happen so by the end of April you're going to make some great headway in your life uh, I feel both financially and and relationship wise this is really kind of cool this person is depicted of being just really tired he looks sad but he's not sad you know he's planted all these coins right he's planted everything set his goals done everything that they want to do and now they're waiting Okay, to now go into that next phase of their life, so to speak. Like, I've reached a pinnacle of where I'm at, and now I can move forward. You know, it's funny, the obstacle card is the world card speaking about pinnacles. So, all right, so maybe in April you're not going to be quite there. Okay, you do have the world card here. Uh, but that's okay. You know, the seeds are planted and they're growing. Let them, let them bloom. Okay, they're starting to bloom, but they're not completely ripe yet so to speak and I want a money tree in my backyard okay that's what I want <laughs> um, underneath the seven of pentacles your first impression of this person you're going to feel like they're a soulmate you're going to have a good relationship with this person um, certain sense of camaraderie um hmm. I think it's somebody new. I don't think there's any signs of reconciliation here, but I think this person is going to make you feel nostalgic. Nostalgic, You know what I mean? Like you've known them your whole life. That's the energy of this card. I love the Six of Cups. It's, it's so endearing and sweet. And 
makes us feel like we're tapping into that child within and that we're living our dreams. You know, like when you were a kid and you had all these dreams about what you want to be like when you grow up and who your Prince Charming or who your queen would be. You know what I mean? Like, and it's funny because this is your outcome card. So I feel that, yeah, this is definitely a water sign, definitely a water sign person coming in for you. The final outcome card is the Page of Cups, so that does signify a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, a Cancer person. So I don't want to jump the gun, but this is a very emotional connection, you said to me, because the Cups cards are about um, our emotions, about love and feelings and relationships and how you express your emotions, uh, especially towards each other. So you're going to have a very loving uh, relationship and really meant to be um, definitely going to be a lot of communication to flirting, texting, phone calls, um, getting to know one, one another. Okay, Ten of Cups. Okay, um, how will they affect you? Well, here you go. Here's another Cups card. It's a lot of, again, a lot of beautiful, loving energy here. You're going to feel like this is your soulmate, um, and that you could build a life together and have children with this person. Uh, you're going to feel like you've come full circle, that this is a soulmate coming back into your life, maybe from another lifetime, and you're just going to be all giddy and happy and just very um, uh, hopeful for the promise of your future together. This is somebody you want to you know, build your castle with, live with, have children with potentially marry and all that, you know, somebody that's really making you happy. So very positive, Gemini, very, very nice. And um, this is what kind of relationship it will be. So this is really kind of nice. You know, the chariot is about uh, victory, yes, and rising above um, challenges like on a new level and conflicts in your life. But I feel like this is about you two balancing each other out, right? You're going to be in the driver's seat, but this is you feeling balanced in your relationship. You see you have the black and white, and that's the yin and yang, and you have the, also the symbol here in the center. I love this. This is you... Um, you know, maybe possibly for some of you, not all of you faced with the decision maybe to move with this person, um, maybe not right away, but that could be coming down the line for you because you may be faced with a decision and it's big because it is a major arcana. So you'd have to um, really hone down on that, um, you know, to to get over whatever obstacles you might have in making any kind of decision to make a major move like this. But for the most part, you know, you're definitely going to be in love and I don't think it's going to be an issue. Now, remember, it's under the Ten of Cups. So um, you do what you need to do, right, to build your family and your own legacy. And, and um, that's the way it goes, right? I don't think it's going to be, you're going to be faced with a, um, a very hard decision. And the placement really talks about what kind of relationship would it be. So I feel that you both are going to rise above all these challenges of growing your future together because you're going to meet somehow through the workplace and that you can build this beautiful life together. You're definitely, um, I feel for the most of you, not all of you, that you know you could be early on in, in your career. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you're you know, moving into another decade of, say, your 40s. Um, and, and, you know, climbing that ladder of success, this could be um, a, a, already a business owner maybe looking to buy another business, okay? So um, even though the energy is young, it doesn't matter. The, the meaning of the card is this youthful, childlike, innocent energy between the two of you about your relationship together moving forward. So this is really quite beautiful. Very, very nice reading, Gemini. I really love it. So as I was saying earlier, getting back to the world card as your obstacle, you know, I wouldn't panic about this. This just simply means that, you know, you will be completing this cycle. Remember, you have the death card here, so it's inevitable. There's just no way around it. You both are going to be moving forward. So if it's a matter of, 
you almost to the pinnacle at the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not quite there, but that that's okay. Um, you're going to be able to get there and end this cycle and move forward together through transformation together. Maybe this person isn't quite in your life yet. You know, it's a general reading, so it's going to be a little different for everybody. Some of you might be experiencing this right now. This person just came into your life and you don't know really where you stand with this person because uh, it's still very, very new and fresh, but you have these feelings that it's definitely meant to be. Well, this reading does signify that this is a wonderful um, opportunity for you to have a beautiful relationship in love. I think you're just going to have to be patient with the timing. Uh, World card talks about travel as well, like with the uh, major arcana, the chariot. Okay, so some of you might be faced with that decision to move or travel with this person. Maybe this person could be an associate you, you meet that's in a different state or in a different country, okay? Um, so just be patient, you know, embrace your journey, okay? Embrace the journey to get there because it's meant to be, you're meant to meet this person. So you're going to be moving forward. It may not be specifically by the end of April, but know it's coming, okay? So be patient. Um, it's really quite beautiful. I, I really, really like this. This is very nice reading. Uh, let me see what else is coming through. Yeah, travel, travel, possibly moving, buying a home together once you kind of get through this phase of this completion and this transformation and the growth. I feel like there's a certain amount of growth, okay, that still needs to transition here happen like somebody's going to get a big promotion and then they feel like they can move forward this person feels like they have to do what they need to do first to have the solid foundation so they can move forward so if this person's not quite ready to commit please don't freak out okay <laughs> because this is a good person for you all right sometimes we just need time to process all the um stages along our path. We all have our own individual destinies and paths to walk. And this person clearly has laid the groundwork of the ace and the two, and now this is the three. So there's still a lot more work to be done here, okay? And you can see here even the seven, is that the seven? Yeah. So there's still some work to be done is kind of how I'm feeling it. I don't know how else to explain it, but we have to be patient, right? We don't always get everything that we want. We get what we believe in. So please be patient with this person. I feel that they are a good a match for you. Um, some of you it could be a Scorpio, water person. Um, but for the most part, I feel for the majority of you, this is a, um, a fire sign person. Aries, Leo, or Sag, um, because this this cup here just signifies the love and, and the communication and the gentleness of the relationship. There's no bad cards here, but I like the fact that you have a lot of major arcana. Uh, it tells me, and ten of cups too, okay, that you want to, you know, have this completion with this person. This is how it will affect you. You're going to be like, oh yeah, this is, you know, the woman or the guy that I've always wanted to re uh, meet. This is somebody I can be a parent with. This is somebody that I trust. All right, so that's wonderful. Very, very nice, Gemini. Let me pull you a Doreen Virtue Romance Angel card for an additional message. My love readings are still over on Vimeo, guys, for March. Um, I will load probably April in another week. I want to get these out first. Uh, so please, you know, go check out your love readings for any additional information. And this is quite promising. Very, very nice. Right. What is the love message for Gemini? 
This is a love message for Gemini, April 2018. Gemini. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Ooh. I love that. So maybe some of you have an eye, you know, your eye on this person, um, but maybe you haven't, you know, moved forward because you're busy with your own stuff like this person is, right? Building your future, but you're thinking, you know, this person makes me feel good or you just acquaintances. Well, I, here you go. Here's confirmation that you can definitely move forward and make the first move or let them know that maybe you want to date or do something or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's very sweet and very loving. And I think, wow, well, this this just, did you see how that fell out? Okay, I, so I have to share it because I believe in fate and destiny in that way. <laughs> I was going to put it back, but this could be the one. That card definitely wanted to pop out, you know? Gemini, I love that. So here you go, you know? This is just a wonderful message. Um, I definitely feel there's a beautiful person coming in for you. For those of you that are looking for love, it's on, okay? Um, so all the best to you, Gemini. Let me see if there's anything else coming through. I really think that's it. Transformation. You're working it. You're growing. You're moving into your future. You're on the right path knowing that this person could definitely potentially be the one for you. I don't see anything negative that could deter the relationship, uh, but I think you both need to give each other time to manifest what you're looking to do. You got, you're actually at a seven, so you're waiting for your, you know, uh, you've done a little bit more work than this person, so to speak. But both of you are still in on the right path for a really incredible future. And to have that, you know, that foundation, you know, especially to make a commitment um, of any big significance, the potential is definitely here. So express your love, make the first move. Um, why not? You know? This could be the one. I really feel it is the one. All right, Gemini. So God bless you guys. All the best in April. Make sure you check out my April general readings and my love readings as well. Of course, this is the first series of the, of the month. So make sure you subscribe so you can come back when I upload other videos. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.